I kept spotting these bright blue barrel planters popping up in all kinds of hot and dusty spots. Well, they really captured my attention and I'm back in town to find out who's behind these great little gardens. It's a system called wicking beds and the idea of a wicking bed is that there's a reservoir in the base of the, of the garden that can store water and progressively as the water's needed, it's, it's through capillary action pulled up through the soil. David DeVries is in the town camps and he's the brains behind it all. The 200 litre blue barrels are a worldwide standard for transporting liquids. They're available in every, every town. Um, what I do is uh, um, cut them with a jigsaw to create a secure environment. What are the advantages of the blue barrel planters in a climate such as Alice Springs? We haven't got a lot of rainfall, obviously, and the households that haven't had a chance to garden before, they need a garden that they can leave for a week at a time, and that's the goal with these beds. This is the bit where you can be so creative. That's right, and it uh, provides a, a good barrier, like uh, children can come and have a look, but they're not about to, um, to jump in there, the, similarly for the dogs. Uh, just a bit of extra protection. And it's strong. Like yeah. that, you, you know, you think taking all that out might might reduce its strength, but that is really firm. It's it's firm, and once we take the back panel out, it's it's a little bit floppy, which makes it that much harder to um, to push over. Uh, you know, another challenge is that someone decide that they want to uh, hit it with their car or roll it over. But I haven't had any uh, any knocked over yet. Well, we've now done all the cutting. We've cut out uh, an exit hole here which is about a, a full hand's height from the base. There's another one of, that, of those on the other side. So this is where the water comes up to its maximum level. That's right. Uh, we've cut the, the top off the barrel. We've cut two faces uh, and uh, we've taken one of those faces and put that right into the base here. And that curve provides an opportunity to put the geotextile, the, the drain mat over the top and some of the soil will be able to access the water from the very base of the barrel, but there's maybe 30 or 40 litres of water that we can store in the base there, and uh, all we need now to do is to put the, the fabric in and the soil and plants, and away we go. To build and get as many out there as possible, David has teamed up with the Tunganjira Council. One of their keenest workers is Freddie Kennedy. So, Freddie, whereabouts yeah. do you want to put the barrel? It's in the middle here. It's a good spot here. Right, right here? here? Yeah, right here. All right. All right, so, David, what's the first step now that we've got it located? Uh, we need to just check we've got our half curve there. Like that? Just sitting the right way around. And then tuck our cloth. So this is to hold the soil out of the water reservoir. That's right. But still allow the water to wick through it. Yep. Right. Hold on. And, yeah, just put it right there in the middle. Oh, things are coming out. Hold them there. Yep. Get them. What are we planting in the barrel? We've got some uh, bush foods. We've got yalka and kachara. We've got um, some bush medicine with Pinti Pinti, and we've also planted some quick-growing annuals, lettuce and celery. And just for a bit of colour, we've got a couple of marigolds in there. Well, that's all the planting done. Looks like we need some water. And here's the man with the... What, is, what do you call it, Freddie? Quadja. Quadja. Yeah, Quadja. Yeah, Quadja. David has taken a simple idea that's sure to have a big future. Residents are taking fantastic care of their plants. For those people who have never had a chance to garden before, they're really seizing that opportunity. I think this has got enormous potential for feeding people across Central Australia.